In this video, we will see how to texture the ground and mountains based on steepness. I will be doing this using the ANT landscape add-on for this video, because the landscape is quite steep and the results can be properly seen. You can use the same technique for the surrounding terrain of your racetrack. Go to Edit, Preferences, and search for ANT landscape, and enable the add-on. We will also be using the polygon nodes, so go to File, Append, and then find the downloaded file Blender Guru Polygon Nodes, then open Node Tree, select the three files inside it, and press Append. Press N, click on Create, and click on the Landscape button. Press Alt plus R to reset rotation. You can change the seed value under landscape noise, if you want to generate a different landscape. Go to materials tab, and create a new material named ground. Now go to UV editing window, press A to select all faces of the terrain, press U, and select unwrap. Now go to shading window. Press Shift plus A and search for Image Texture node. Then connect the color output, to base color input of BSDF shader. Similarly, add another Image Texture node, and a normal map node. Connect the color slots of the two nodes, and then connect the normal output of normal map node, to the normal input of BSDF shader. Now select your grass texture and its corresponding normal map. Change the color space of normal map to non-color. If you don't have your Node Wrangler add-on enabled, go to Edit, Preferences, and select Add-ons. Search for Node Wrangler, and enable it. Now select one of the image texture nodes, and press Ctrl plus T. Now connect the vector slots of the mapping node, and the second image texture node. Now you can change the scale values according to your texture. Now maximize the roughness value and decrease the specular value. Now add a polygon color variation node from groups. Link to download the nodes is in description. Drag and drop the color variation node between the first image texture node, and the BSDF shader. It will make the connections automatically. Set the parameters to your liking. It will give the grass, different hues in different places, randomly. Now select all nodes except the material output node and duplicate twice, by pressing Shift plus D. One will used for sand texture, and the other for cliff texture. Open the sand texture and its corresponding normal map in the second group of nodes. Also change the color space of the normal map to non-color. Search for a mix shader node and add it. Connect the BSDF output to one of the shader inputs. Do the same for the BSDF node of grass texture. Connect the shader output of mix shader node, to surface input of material output node. Now, search for noise texture and color ramp nodes, and add them. Connect the color output of noise texture node, to the factor input of color ramp node. Now, connect the color output of color ramp node, to the factor input of mix shader node. Now adjust the sliders to get the look you want.
Now open your clip texture and the corresponding normal map. Next, search for texture coordinate node, separate XYZ node, and color ramp node and add them. Now connect normal output and vector input of the texture coordinate and separate XYZ nodes, respectively. Then connect the Z output to the factor input of color ramp node. Now add a mix shader node and connect the BSDF output from the clip texture to one of the shader inputs of the mix shader nodes. Then connect the color output of color ramp node to the factor input of mix shader node. Now connect the shader output of the first mix shader node, to the shader input of the second mix shader node. Finally connect the mix shader, to the surface input of the material output node. Now you can adjust the sliders to get the desired result. This same procedure can be used for texturing surroundings of the racetrack, based on steepness of the terrain. If you found this video helpful, consider giving this video a thumbs up, and subscribing to my channel. I will try to provide links of the textures in the description. Check out textures.com for more free textures.